There are certain overarching qualities that every employer looks for when filling a position. Today, to finish up our Can You Hire Me Now series, we have a panel of executives from three very different industries here to share what they look for in a candidate. John Slavic is president and founder of financial services from Slavic Group. Robert Luddy is president and founder of manufacturing company Captive Air. And Cindy Bigelow, CEO of family-owned Bigelow Teas, which we all love and drink as often as we can. Cindy, ladies first. You just hired some new folks, I understand. Uh, which positions were hardest to fill? That is, which jobs seem more in demand at the moment? Well, for us in the manufacturing arena, uh, I think the jobs that we're really focusing in manufacturing were tougher for us in the areas of marketing. So we recently just hired a director of quality assurance, and, and believe it or not, that was a, a year and a half search. Wow, a year and yeah. a half. So yeah. there are positions for which you're willing to wait that long to find the right person. Robert, uh, you have spelled out for us specifically which positions uh, you're looking for applicants right now. Engineering 5, sales engineering 25, field service technicians 20, manufacturing 15. I'm seeing a lot of, of positions that require advanced technical training here. Yeah, most of our jobs uh, require technical training. Um, that seems to be the nature of manufacturing today. Uh, if you looked at our business 20 years ago, it was much less technical. Now with electronics and more sophisticated equipment, we need the very best technicians we can find. John, I would imagine the same is true for you, that, that, that programming, the ability to, to deal with the high tech that everybody's dealing with now in order to improve efficiency is very important. I'm wondering if you're looking for, if you would take on people who have that experience, who have that knowledge, I should say, but maybe are right out of school and trying to, to recast themselves, retool themselves with their advanced uh, programming training. Actually, many times it's the person right out of school who is best qualified in the technical areas, especially when it comes to programming, because there's such rapid change in programming that a person who's in a job for eight to ten years may be a little bit behind the curve. So a new college graduate is often a very good choice for a programming position. Well, John, staying with you, because that's very interesting. So if I, for example, have, have been let go from a job that I've been in 10 years, have, have spent about a year really training intensively for programming, you wouldn't look down on the fact that I've been laid off. You'd look at the fact that I had the very latest training in programming. Actually, that would be a big plus because oftentimes when a person is in a position a long time, they have a, a more narrow view. A broader view is very helpful, especially in this new age where uh, mobile technologies and other applications are just coming online. All right, Cindy, if, if you can get your foot in the door and get to the point where you have an interview, what, what really stands out to you? What are you looking for when you interview somebody? Well, the first thing for myself is I do need to see some energy. I need to see that engagement, that energy, that excitement, that passion, no matter what your age is. And I also, I'm really kind of watching you to see if you really listen. I'm, I'm not that happy when I see someone's just trying to get an answer out versus listening to what I'm saying and, and then really responding accordingly. So I need them to know a little about the tea business. I want them to have some thoughts on the tea business. I want them to be a tea drinker, hopefully. Right. Uh, energy and uh, definitely, you know, I, I want them to listen really well. And you do have to you bone up on the industry before you go in for the interview. Robert, There's no question. Resumes. Uh, you see hundreds of them, I'm sure. All the time you see them, they pass through your desk. Is there anything that stands out that makes a resume pop for you, that will make you pull it out of the pile? Uh, one thing is uh, good job tenure. Uh, when we see people oh, jumping yeah. jobs every year or two, uh, we mostly don't consider those resumes. That so is good interesting. Tenure, yeah, and uh, good background in terms of education and experience. So, Robert, sticking with you for a minute, rather than looking for uh, real versatility, that is, I did this, I did that, I did that, if somebody stays at a job for 10 years or more, that will stick out to you more than anything else. It really does. And we also mm -hmm. look for uh, recent college grads because they fit into our system very well because we're a very dynamic company, constantly changing and um, those young grads seem to acclimate to it very well. And John, finally, just about the labor pool itself, is, is it getting tighter? Uh, is it getting harder to find somebody or do you still have the pick of the litter? 
Well, it's kind of a twofold situation. For every job that we have come open, we have at least 150 different applicants. But when we go through the interview process, we kind of weed through them pretty carefully. And good people are hard to find. Bottom line, it still is. Cindy Bigelow, thank you very much. John Slavic, Robert Luddy, have a great weekend, everybody. We really appreciate your help in this. Thanks very All much. Right, thank you, guys.